In the School of Biosciences at the University of Nottingham, all students can opt to take a year in industry. Here, some of our final year students from Food Sciences talk about how their industrial placement has enhanced their student experience and influenced their plans for their final year. My name is Samuel and I'm reading Food Science at the University of Nottingham. As part of that course, I completed a year in industry at Mars Chocolate and that's based in Slough. Um, my name is Ellie Thompson. I'm studying nutrition and food science at Nottingham University. And I did my placement at GlaxoSmithKline uh, within the sensory department. My name's Catherine. I'm studying food science and nutrition at the University of Nottingham. And I did my placement with Nestle at their product technology centre in York. My name's Danny. I'm studying nutrition and food science and I did my placement with PepsiCo at their R&D site in Leicester. Hello, my name is Nina. I'm studying nutrition and food science in Nottingham University and I chose to do my placement at Eastern Health, now called Food Nation in Newcastle. My name is Amy Yappinen, I'm studying food science and nutrition and I did my placement at Nutrition, which is the medical division of Danone in Liverpool. Hi, I'm Bethany, I study at University of Nottingham studying food science. Um, I did my placement at Samoth Brothers. I did six months at Bradgate Bakery, who make sandwiches for Tesco's and Ginsters, and six months at Kettleby Foods, who make ready meals for Tesco and Morrison's. When looking for a placement, I wanted to join a company that was established internationally, one that was a leading competitor in its field, and one that really encouraged movement within a department as well as between departments. This is because I wanted the opportunities to be exposed to as many different aspects of the food industry as possible, and Mars Chocolate fulfilled those aspirations. I wanted to apply for um, sensory at GlaxoSmithKline um, because of the reputation of the company. Um, I've heard they treat their students very well, and that, that was true. Um, and also, I was really interested in um, sensory. Um, I was interested in applying to Nestle because they're such a big global company and also the centre I was working in specialises in confectionery so I was interested in getting insight into the confectionery industry. I really wanted to work for PepsiCo firstly because they're a massive blue chip company, they're the second largest food and drinks manufacturer in the world so definitely a good one to have on the CV and a good one to work with. It's also really nice when you're working with a product that you already consume, so you find out a lot more about that in the background and you really enjoy what you do. And then also on the assessment centre, they were just so welcoming, the environment was really friendly and yeah, it just really made me want to work there. What attracted me to do a placement at Eastern Health was that it mainly concentrated on the nutrition and health promotion part of my degree rather than the industry. What attracted me to do my placement at Nutrisha was the fact that I had no, no knowledge in sensory science and I thought it would be really interesting to get to know more about sensory science and more about the food industry and sensory science. Um, I'd already done some work experience with Tesco's and I would, was exposed to Samoth Brothers as a manufacturer during my work experience so I already knew part about the business and I wanted more exposure to the manufacturer side of the food industry rather than just the supermarket side. My course really helped with my year in industry because in second year we had modules um, which covered chocolate manufacture and also viscometry. So that was really important. I needed to know how to use a viscometer when I went into industry. So it was good to have already done it through my course. Also working in the lab and in the food processing hall as part of my course really helped. During my placement year, I was involved with a lot of data manipulation. And in the first year, I took a module called Data Analysis and Presentation. And that really helped build my confidence in data handling. Also, I was exposed to different aspects of microbial analysis, which I'd done related modules in the first and second year. But most significantly, perhaps, was the problem-based learning modules in the second year, where in small teams we'd get together and troubleshoot um, food safety and food quality potential incidences. 
And I found myself throughout my placement year getting involved in these kinds of scenarios. And having had that experience, um, I found that they were conducted in very much the same way. So I was very well placed to contribute effectively to those investigations. The most useful part of my course actually was the DTAP uh, module in the first year, so data transfer analysis and presentation. Um, it gave me a solid grounding in statistics, which I used a lot when an analysing my sensory results. So modules that I'd done at university before starting placement included some that covered the concepts of new product development, so I was able to much easier understand where the project I was on was at. Um, also modules covering principles of nutrition and microbiology also helped with pieces of work such as tracking the nutrition along the process as well as doing a shelf life study. From my year in industry I really gained the confidence to push my own ideas. I was mentored in how to approach meetings and how to structure a proposal so that it would be appealing. And throughout the year I learnt to assimilate the different experiences of a whole range of people to really advance a project in a way that I hadn't really been able to do as effectively before. My biggest learning experience from my placement was realising that I really like to um, work with children and that I'm quite good at communicating and passing uh, messages to them. I think my biggest learning from the year was just seeing R&D in situ generally I got to see a lot of the pilot plan and trials that go on there, which is something that never really gets covered at university because it's really confidential. So that's really helped. And then in terms of transferable skills, I've learned to manage my time much better. I can manage multiple projects with business critical deadlines and also just work with a load of different people with different experiences and in lots of different situations as well. Um, I was placed as a team leader, which I wouldn't have chosen for myself because I found that I wasn't very confident, but my confidence built on that. And just learning about the general exposure to the food industry and how big it is and how everyone works together. During my placement at Danone, I managed to actually find a dissertation title, which was quite good. And I think that's very good for your third year, as it'll narrow down a lot of options that you have. As well as coming back to university, it helps you a lot with your time management and how to sort things out. So that's, I think that was quite vital. I think my placement will help me in my final year in terms of choosing the topic that I wanted to do for my dissertation as I'm going to be uh, again working with schools and children and also in terms of organisational and manage, time managing skills. I think placement's going to help with final year. Firstly, from the aspect of I've seen it in action, so a lot of what I'm learning will seem a lot more relevant and I can apply some examples to what I'm learning. I think it's also helped me with my motivation and general work ethic so I'll get a lot more done mm. and I also think that now I've seen the food industry and know I definitely want to work there it's given me the passion for it and I really want to get a good grade so I can get a good job when I finish. I think having done a placement will really help me with my final year. I think it's really prepared me to work in the lab and to conduct my own research project and to be able to write up the report at the end of the year. I think my placement has helped in taking the experiences I'd had in the first and second year and what I'm learning in the final year and really putting them into context. I found that I can now link the examples I'm hearing in the lecture to my own experiences, which really helps me understand the nuances of different scenarios with much more clarity. My advice to a student who's thinking of doing a year out would be to go with an open mind. You don't know what you're going to expect and you're going to meet lots of different people with different characteristics. So it's really important just to be very open-minded about who you're going to meet what you're going to do because everything is a learning experience. So I think that's really important for someone who's going to do a year in industry. My best piece of advice for students wanting to have a year in industry um, is to not be afraid to ask your line manager if you want to explore other avenues within the company. Um, the company is there to help you as much as you are there to help them. So um, if there's something you wanted to look into, then don't be afraid to ask. 
advise anyone to go for a placement and to apply for to as many as you can just to get experience in the interviews and to see what the businesses are like because they may not have seen what they were like in your first appearance um, and also to get experience for graduate schemes later on. If anyone's thinking of doing a placement they should definitely definitely go for it um, it's been the best thing I've done throughout my degree um, and yeah just while you're there take the opportunity with both hands, be as proactive as you can and fulfil as many wants that you've got as possible. Like I went around different factories and saw different functions of the business as well. So the company's really open to you just getting the most out of your experience as possible. Any student thinking of taking a year in industry, I would urge them to absolutely go ahead and do it. If they don't want to commit to a full year, try and get a summer placement, at least some exposure to the food industry. That way, when you come to your final year, when filling out your graduate job applications, if you really take advantage of that placement time, you'll be able to draw on a wealth of examples to create an application that really stands out.